So today I'm going to walk you through racking a 480 volt Siemens. This is the WL series circuit breaker. Uh, this particular breaker is out in disconnect right now. We're going to rack it in to connect. On this breaker, the racking handle is built into the breaker and stores inside here. To pull the handle out, simply pull the little lever here, pick up on the interlock, which pushes the open button to make sure the breaker's open, and slide your handle out. Your drive bracket, which we have here, then connects to your door with these two simple shoulder bolts and hangs like so. Then you have your drive motor and your tool adapter, and this tool adapter extends and has a clamp to actually physically grab the handle. So we will insert this into the bracket and insert our tool adapter to the motor and then simply extend our bracket out to latch onto our racking handle here. Drive bracket here has a connector, plugs into the back of the motor. Same thing with your 50 foot cable here, plugs in. And then your handheld, where we actually rack the breaker from, plugs into the other end of the cord here. Power up the system. It's going to go through kind of a checklist. You can see there it says Siemens WL. Please verify the door is closed and latched. Obviously everything we're doing is mounted to this door, so you want to make sure the door is closed and latched. Verify you're at a safe distance. And then select disconnect to connect or connect to disconnect. So this breaker is in disconnect. We're going to rack it into connect. So as you can see, it actually does a tool engage and backs off to make sure that we're fully engaged on that racking shaft. And we actually simply turn the racking shaft of the breaker. And you can see on the, on the screen there, you have a breaker position and an expected turn count. So you can see we're racking from disconnect to connect. 22.5 expected turns and then our real-time turn count there as we're going. If at any time in between the racking, if it felt a hard stop or a breaker jam, it would stop and then bring the breaker back out to a safe position. Because we're monitoring turn counts, we know how many turns we've gone in and it would bring it back out to the disconnect position and tell you there was a problem. So you can see when we get to 22 turns, we're going to slow down. Instead of just running in and slamming into the hard stop at the end, it's going to slow down and then turn nice and slow looking for a hard stop at the end. So you can see here we have a two turn maximum and that's kind of how we take up our differences because the breakers are never exactly the same. See, it felt the hard stop there. And then backs off and stops. It tells you operation complete, breakers in the connect position, please power down. So at that point, your breaker is racked into connect. We would disconnect our two cables here. You would unhook your tool adapter here and at that point your handle simply goes back into into your breaker to be stored disconnect your tool adapter take our motor out and this particular application 
when I installed this bracket, it was put together, but in order to break it down and store it in, make it a little more portable and store in the case, this part comes apart. So the face comes off, and then your two side pieces come apart for easy storage in the case.